this Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. We have the Eight of Wands here with the Knight of Wands. There is someone who's coming in. Someone's coming in with a lot of communication, bro. A lot of communication. Okay, there's going to be a lot of communication back and forth with a lot of heat, a lot of intensity, a lot of passion, you know. Let's see what this communication is about. But in the past year with the Seven of Pentacles here, I feel there was a situation that you were waiting on. You were waiting for something to grow, something to come into fruition. You put in the seed, you planted the seed, okay, and you were waiting for um, results, okay, of the effort and the emotions that you've invested into the person here, okay. But I think there was something that was taking too long for it to grow. There could have been chances that you just guys split or you stop investing into a connection also, okay, because someone was just not giving into the connection here. Um, three of Cups is what is the current situation right now. Um, I think you're okay right now, okay? Yes, this could be a reconciliation that's coming your way, but I feel right now you're okay wherever you are. The Three of Cups is you having fun, you know? relaxing just enjoying yourselves having a good time with your friends or whatever right but uh, i think you're okay on your own right now you're filling your own cup is what i'm getting here okay you don't need this person because it's almost like i'm getting like an investment in the past that didn't work out okay and because you're letting it go with the eight of wands here let's see if this is release and you moving forward or this is this person communicating i feel this is someone who's coming in towards you okay because i saw the knight of wands so definitely someone who was um very wishy-washy, very in and out of your life, they're coming back. They're coming back, okay? Uh, on your mind is the two of swords here. So you're pretty much in denial right now with the situation or I think you're just flat out blocking this person. You're not communicating with the, this person. You don't want to look at them. You don't want to see them. You you, you just want to um, literally like, you want to pretend like this person doesn't exist, okay? With the two of swords here. It's like whatever this person has to say, it's like it's just going to backfire. You know, it's like hitting a wall if they try to communicate with you. But right now you're in that indecision mode. Okay, let's see. Emperor is why all this is happening. So I think you've taken control of the situation or someone's wanting to come in and take control of the situation. I feel this is you with Emperor here, but with the Ace of Pentacles here, because you've taken control of the situation, there's someone here with the Ace of Pentacles who's giving you... The universe is giving you a golden opportunity to start something from scratch. Okay, someone's coming in towards you with commitment or coming towards you wanting to offer you something stable, something secure. And that's a big opportunity, okay, which is going to need a lot of nurturing, a lot of um, hard work, okay, to take it to the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. Um, tell me, what's the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? What's the Eight of Wands? Yeah. Yeah. This person's coming in, but I feel for sure you are blocking this communication when this person comes in. You're very defensive, okay? Because this is someone here, okay? I feel that uh, you've had a breakup, a separation with whoever this person is, right? But something's hurting you, okay? And you're not being able to let go. You're standing your guard. You're standing your guard. And clearly, you're not going to talk to this person or even if this person comes in, you're going to communicate, but you're not going to do anything about it. Okay, but the communi communication is coming in fast. I feel somewhere, somehow, you're dealing with someone here because with the Knight of Wands here, you could, get, you, you could be used to this energy, right? It's like, yeah, I've seen that before, you know, I've seen that before. You coming in, rushing in, you know, wanting something uh, very passionate with me. But when it comes to offering you something stable, that's when this person does not want to do it, okay? So very in and out energy, okay? The passion is there, but it's not very... It's not there to stay. Alright, tell me, what is the Seven of Pentacles in the past? What is the Seven of Pentacles in the past? Yeah, this was a soulmate connection. This was a soulmate connection, okay? And that's why probably you waited and waited and waited and waited for things to come into fruition, for things to get better, for things to get into that stable ground where you don't have to worry, you don't have to stress about the situation. Yeah, you were, you wanted commitment. You wanted commitment, but you were dealing with someone here um, who was not seeking commitment probably, okay? Someone who was very focused on their money, their careers, their goals, their business, and you just waited for this person to come towards you in the right energy. Yeah. But there was a lot of passion here, okay? I think there was a lot of passion here. There was a lot of passion here. 
Yeah. But you wanted stability is what I'm getting here. You wanted stability. You wanted marriage. You wanted something long term with this person. But this person that you were dealing with, right? This person was someone who was looking at you as, I mean, they knew what you wanted. But they kept you on hold for a very long time because this person was very in and out. Okay. Uh, King of Wands is someone who is um, absolutely commitment phobic. Okay, and someone who's extremely flaky. Okay, this person can be very indecisive also. They give you mixed signals. Okay, so one moment they want something, the next moment they don't. But someone, you know, they come out to be very confident is because of which you thought things would work out for this person. But the thing is that they lack a lot of confidence within. Okay, they, they, they're just very good at showing how confident they are. But within, they lack a lot of confidence. Okay, and that's the kind of person that you were wanting and seeking something very uh, committed with. Okay, or something long term with. But this was a soulmate connection here because of which you waited for things. Things, okay for a very long time um tell me about the three of cups in the current situation what is this three of cups what is this three of cups here Someone sees you as badass, okay? They see you as very sexy, very confident, very sassy. You don't give a shit to this person right now, okay? That's the kind of person who is probably wanting to come towards you and wanting a reconciliation with you. You could have walked away from this person here because this person played a lot of mind games in the past, okay? But now this person is coming in wanting a brand new start with you, okay? This person sees you as someone very cold, very uncaring, not giving a shit, okay? Not giving them the attention that they that they want okay because you're not interested in as passionate about this person as you were in the past okay you don't have that passionate attraction for this person anymore but they see you as the one okay they see you i mean you stick out like a sore thumb is what i'm getting they see you as confident independent you're the desired one here they see you as someone who has a lot of options this person is going to let go of their ways now this could be uh, someone who wants to constantly sabotage the connection right that's the kind of person who's coming in towards you and wanting something passionate with you they want to start from scratch i'm getting someone here who played a lot of mind games with you okay i'm not getting so much of cheating uh, but i'm getting someone here who constantly run away from their feelings or they run away from commitment okay there could be a lot of interference between you guys in the past but i feel someone here who had trust issues okay and uh, they constantly put the blame on you and the burden on you pretending that everything was fine with them they always wanted to win at all costs you know and uh, they they, uh, they were protecting themselves okay because um they kept pushing you away, you know, to the point that they completely ended things with you or you just had to walk away because there was too much conflict. You felt defeated and you had to walk away. This person now wants a reconciliation with you. Again, it's the ace of wands here, but at least communication is going to get better. I'm not promising like a full-blown reconciliation. It can be with the three of cups, but at least it's going to start out with um, a conversation reconciliation, okay? They're admitting defeat. They're done with their games. They're done with their trust issues. They're dropping their guard, done playing games. Okay, and they're going to be very honest and real with, their, with themselves about this, okay? And, um, yeah, eight of wands again. Lot of communication coming in, guys. It's going to be unexpected out of the blue, okay? You're going to probably start seeing signs or see this person's initials or see some signs from the universe that there's communication coming in or, you know, like, expect something. It's going to be out of nowhere. See how these wands are coming out of the sky, coming out of nowhere, right? Yeah, so that's what it is. But this person is definitely um, no longer pushing things away due to fear. They had a lot of fear, probably, of commitment. You know, but they want to be with you, for sure. That's the kind of person who's coming in towards you. If this has to happen, it's going to happen. Remember, it's all predictable. What's the two of swords in your mind? <laughs> You're like, hell to the fucking no. <laughs> What's the two of swords on your mind? I don't think you want to communicate with this person. Or even, if they com even if you communicate with them, right? I don't think you're going to give them an answer right away. Yeah. This person, you felt like an option with this person. Okay. Or you're just very confused when this person comes in. Tell me more about the two of swords. Tell me more about the two of swords. Tell me more about the two of swords. Yeah. You're very confused of whether you want to cut this person out completely out of your life or whether you want to start have a new beginning with this person. 
Yeah, because you walk away from this person, right? You walked away from this situation because it just wasn't making you happy. You're very confused in your head when this person comes in, right? It's like you're not wanting to see the reality of the situation. I could also say, now look, there is a potential here, okay? When this person comes in, okay, you're going to receive very point blank, honest, truthful communication from this person, okay? You will talk and communicate. Uh, but I think... Now you're going to be in two minds when this person comes in. Do I want to give this person a second chance here and want a new emotional cycle with this person and start brand new? Or do you want to completely cut this person off from your life? That's what I'm getting here. You know, maybe you just want to clear the air with this person, okay? And maybe you don't want a new beginning. You just want closure. You just want to move away from this person. Or maybe you want to start something brand new and you want to give this another opportunity. The problem here is the root of the confusion is because you feel that this person made you an option. Even if they didn't have options, they definitely made you feel like an option, okay? Because they were constantly running away from this connection. Yeah? It's too much on your mind here. Too much on your mind. Let's see. Uh, what is... Oh, this got here off. Yeah, there's a lot of disappointment around this situation here. They disappointed you big time. Okay. And this is why you're probably crying over spilled milk. You just cannot get over what happened in the past. Okay. But this will be also be this person here who is grieving a loss. They feel bad. You know, there's a huge element of guilt here. Which could also be possible with this person here. Where they feel they shouldn't have let you go. Or they could have handled things more differently. Okay. Alright. Tell me about this emperor here. Tell me about this emperor. What is this emperor? Tell me about the emperor. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, right? This person. This is a, this is someone here. This is someone here you gave up on. Okay, this was a big burden on you. Okay, this person was causing more stress, anxiety, and uh, it was a very burdensome situation that you had to drop the load. That's the kind of person who's coming in towards you. Okay, wanting to take control of the situation. Yes, this pro this person was living in their head. Okay, they were living in fear. Okay, a lot of negativity. They had a very negative mindset. Uh, I'm getting a lot of mental blocks here. Okay. But, yeah, they're coming in because this person wants a reconciliation with you. They're finally letting go of, of what happened in the past year and this person dreams about you. Okay, they dream a lot about you and um, they're freeing themselves, okay, from the self-imprisonment that they had. They're not overthinking things anymore. They miss you. They miss you a lot. Okay, they know, I feel this person has a very strong realization that they didn't step up again. They didn't boss up when they had to, when the time was there. And that's why they lost you. But this person has, uh, is definitely having a lot of wishful thinking, okay. Yes, the Seven of Cups is a wishful thinking card here, but it's all a lot like, oh, I wish I can do this with them, I wish I can do this with them, I can wish I can want that. But there's no action card, okay, there's no action here. You know, this person needs to make a more practical move towards you in order to make things happen rather than just wishing and thinking that things will fall in their lap, okay? But yeah, someone wants to come in and take control of the situation. All right, the Ace of Pentacles here in the near future. So yeah, there is an, op well, there is an opportunity here. What's the Ace of Pentacles? It's a huge opportunity, opportunity that you have with this person. What's the Ace of Pentacles in the near future? What's the Ace of Pentacles in the near future? There is going to be communication from this person, okay? This person, there is going to be an opportunity and I feel you're going to receive communication from this person. This person wants to reconcile for sure, okay? They want to get back to you. But it's just that for you, I 
think this person here, they they have a lot of love for you. Okay, they're very emotional about you, and they have a lot of love for you, and they're watching you from a distance, trying to gather a lot of information about what to do next. You know, they're trying to do a lot of research, trying to think about waiting for the right time to come and communicate towards you. Okay, because this no communication uh, is giving them a tough time. Okay, it's becoming too much for them to handle. They can't handle the situation anymore. Okay, and this person wants to come towards you, drop the load, okay, and uh, they want to let go of the situation because it's just get created too much stress in their head, okay, it's too much of tension for them, and uh, they want to start brand new with you, okay, just be careful of the kind of communication that's coming in, right, you're coming up, someone's coming up as the page of swords here, okay, and you're, you're showing up as the queen of cups, so there's going to be an energetic difference here, okay, so just see how this goes, but there is an opportunity here. If you want to deal with it or not, it's going to be up to you. Anyways, the link below is going to be to the extension. If you resonate with this, you can find out their thoughts, feelings, actions, outcome, and advice from the universe. All right. So that's about it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.